Welcome guys, uh, this is a follow up to the Peak Street Quench Blade video. Uh, four months later from the footage you're going to see later, it's August, our air conditioning's broken, it's hot. This is, says 88 degrees Fahrenheit on it, which is about room temperature. Uh, so just don't worry too much about that being super hot. With the old setup, John threw this together with copper gasket sealant and it actually corroded all of the aluminum on the inside. So I had to blast everything, replace all the stuff, but now, four months later, look in the bucket, it's slightly cloudy. We could probably do with a water replacement, but it's still running fine. You can see that we're still getting plenty of flow from those two pumps. And it's still pulling the heat away from the blades pretty much as quickly as we want it. So yeah, enjoy. Round two. Sorry about the tumblers, making a lot of noise, but hopefully you can hear me just fine. We got same plates, Sky went in and bead blasted them, made them nice and clean again, got all the corrosion off. We are now using black RTV instead of uh, that copper based stuff, so this should work really, really good. And then we're basically replacing all of the all of the lines, the bucket, the coolant, yeah. replacing, everything. replacing everything so that there's no contamination. Right, because that galvanic corrosion, we want to kill it in its tracks, we don't want it to happen again, and we want to be able to trust it and just leave it for the next 20 yeah. years. So, yeah, so we're trying to do it right. We are going full race car up on this thing with some AN fittings. Just because that's what the local store had. Uh, we got, instead of teeing off one pump to the upper and lower, so now I've got two, uh, I think they are 100, 180 gallon per hour aquarium pumps. Two of those guys. Uh, Sky tapped it for quarter inch NPT. And we're gonna thread those fittings in with some Teflon tape. Got some PVC, I think it's PVC. Uh, clear hosing, it should be okay. It's not like the best stuff in the world, but it should be fine for this. Hose clamps, redo it. Should be awesome. Any other thoughts? Nope, should work great. Sweet. So you can see in the bottom of the bucket, all that smudge is uh, basically corrosion and just gross stuff. Not cool, so we're gonna replace all of that, replace the coolant, just put some new stuff in. Make it good again, because we got some heat treating to do. This oven is up to temp and ready to go. So normally we try to heat treat every single day, but we're a couple days behind because of those plugged lines. So we got some catching up to do. How's it coming? So it's all done. Uh, the plates are all sealed up with RTV now. We got new lines, top line, bottom line. They stay connected. Power bars moved it into a more convenient position and taped down to the table. You got your display for the temperature in the bucket. They're all running behind the temper oven. Shorter lines than before, so it's a quicker heat transfer time. Got a hole on top of this lid. You've got your two pumps. One pump for the top, one pump for the bottom, so that they stay separate. And then here's your drain. Held down with a nice big piece of titanium, I think. Yeah, the coolant should keep it from corroding again. Should be good. Sweet. All right, guys, that just about wraps up that video. If you would like to go back and watch our previous video about our heat treat quench setup, that is still a perfectly relevant video. It's still great. Uh, it shows some really good tips on how to set up a heat treat quench system. And really the only thing that we would change is just the solution that we would use to stick the two plates together. Uh, but aside from that, it's a great system. Um, we are coming out with a full heat treat video very soon. We're just collecting a little bit more information and that kind of thing for that video, but we're really excited about releasing it to you guys because it's going to involve 
our cryo treatment that we do on the part as well. So that's going to be really fun uh, for you guys to learn about. And um, if you would like to see that video, which is coming up, and more videos that are similar to this one, then you can hit that little subscribe button, as well as the notification bell to be notified about future videos that come out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.